Today's video, I'm going to be pretty much showing you uh, how to install an LS1, LS6 intake. It's pretty much the same on either intake. But the first thing you want to do if you painted your motor or got any paint on it, is clean all this paint off the best you can get it. Usually just a little laser blade scraping over top of it. It's all you need to do. And this just helps that gasket uh, seal better that's on the intake. So this is the gaskets we got. It's just made in China. Comes with some gray silicone. Now this is up to you, optional. A lot of people would put this around here, but they're actually for the top of your bolts to give a better air seal. Uh, you shouldn't need this, so I wouldn't use it unless you have to use it. So just hang on to it. I'm going to ease the intake upside down. You can do this on the table. I'm just doing it here where you can get a good vantage point. So these go in just like so, and they kind of got a tab on them. You will feel them just clip down in there and it helps them hold in place. And then you might see a couple that's disformed. That's very common on an LS6, LS1 intake. So if you come to a port that's disformed like this, and you can put your little silicone on this and the hit will seal it off. But this one shouldn't have an issue. It sets pretty, pretty high up on that O-wing though. So let's go ahead and Put that one in place and do the other one the same way. So all the gaskets is now installed. We're going to flip the intake over and uh, just set it down straight. If your intake is not fitting, you might have to clearance these little tabs off. I got a video detailing that. It's in my playlist, LS Engines and More, or you just search online, that video should pop up. I even link it in the description. How about that? Your intake will set down just like so. It's got little dowels, and them dowels help center it up. So, if it don't center up, you need to uh, move it around until it does. Others just centered up there, and it's centered up here, and I'm being held off. I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is holding me off, so I got to remove this. So now we're going to check our gaskets, make sure they're all in place, and they are. Now we're going to set it down and it should set down extremely level. There we go. It fits perfect. You will put your RTV on the washer, the head of your boat here, so it seals off from here. You shouldn't need to do that. That's a, I have never personally done it. I have seen people do it, but yeah, I don't do it. It don't mean I won't never do it. Who knows, this intake might need it. It shouldn't need it though, so I'm just going to run these down. If you wanted to know, this is a kit of uh, online intake bolts for the car intake. You can get these like 14 bucks or somewhere in the offline. I didn't have the original bolts, so they work out. Now, they are a torque spec on these. I think it's so many inch pounds. I don't know it right offhand, so I'm just going to snuggle them down and then tighten them ever so little. And the way I'm going to go about this is I'm going to start here in the corner. Let it pull down the intake. You can see we're moving down. And then I'm going to stop once it starts getting tight. Then I'm going to go to the main back and tighten it down. And then crisscross. So everything's tight, snugged up now in a crisscross pattern. I just crisscrossed my way through the intake. So next you want to snug it up. There is inch pounds to this, a torque pattern. Uh, I try to put it in the description below, but what I always do is just snug them tight. You don't want to over tighten it because you can crack the plastic and you can strip the head, but just snug it up and it should be good. That's what the O-wing's for anyway. But for those of you who wants to do it the right way, that I just didn't crisscross it, that's when you crisscross it before you torque it. <laughs> is uh, just snug it up. Put the proper inch pounds on it and you should be good to go. If you have any leaks, use some silicone. You shouldn't have no leaks though. If it's a good condition intake, use good gaskets and all that good stuff. And you can see the way I got my fuel well set up, we can actually take this big open part that's down here. This is going in the second gen Kamal, so the fuel lines is already on the passenger side. We can come up the factory fuel line thing, come up here where they ain't nothing in a way and attach to a fuel well. 
That way we ain't messing with the firewall in the background or anything like that trying to get a fuel line. Plenty of room right here to work with the fuel system. So I hope you enjoyed this short how-to video. It wasn't extremely lengthy. It's pretty simple to boat an LS1, LS6 intake down onto your uh, LS engine. As you've seen, you just want to make sure your gaskets is lined up, your surface is clean. If you got any leaks or distortion, as you've seen that one area did, just use some RTV silicone. If you're new, you can show your support for my channel by smashing that subscribe button. Leave a like, drop a comment if you found it helpful. I enjoy hearing from everybody. And uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for watching another one of my videos. I appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one.